Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, September 5th, 2018. It's new comic book day, and that means another in and out weekly comics pull list by Ash on Comics. I'm Ash, and here's today's comics. First off, shout out Alterna Comics. If you're not aware of what's going on, you need to look it up. I think I'm going to make a video. Um, just terrible, terrible stuff what the industry is trying to do to them. Uh, totally unwarranted. The complete, utter, just complete bullying of an independent uh, company by a group of people who, of course, claim to be anti-bigot and, and or sorry, anti-bully and anti-bigot. But so hashtag stand with Peter. Alternative comics. We're with you, bud. So first things first, of course, I got. One of the best burgers, actually probably the best burger in the world for your dollar. For less than the price of a Marvel comic book, you get, oh man, less than the price of a Marvel comic book. That's the important thing. People go, well, I don't get the, I've had a better burger. Yeah, it costs you 20 bucks. All right, cover that up a little bit because I need, want it to be still warm when I eat it. I don't want it. I'm not gonna sit there and make you watch me eat, that's stupid. Who am I, am I C.B. Sabolsky? Here's the comics. Nice glare there. This week, let's get into it. What do I got? I'll try to keep this fast. Superman. No, it's not Superman. It's Justice League number seven. Um, I still gotta be honest. I haven't read these. I am not a Justice League person. Um, I'm, I'm really just trying to be open-minded, and I like Scott Snyder. I gotta always make sure I don't say Zack Snyder because my brain just mixes the two. Um, I picked these up because I love Jim Lee's uh, covers. I like the gimmick, if you will, that they're doing one of each Justice League character. Jim Lee's doing it. For the alt uh, art, I think that's just a really cool collector thing to do. I think that Justice League Dark has totally dropped the ball. They got uh, Greg Capullo doing the covers. Well, I don't like quite as much as Jim Lee, except for Batman. He's better on Batman than Jim Lee. But he should be doing the same thing for all the Justice League Dark characters. That'd be badass. Totally dropped the ball on that. Um, anyways, sorry I don't have anything to say about this comic. I'm sure they're decent and good. It's, it's Scott Snyder, and it's something he's been wanting to do. Um, yeah. Anyways, you know if you like it or not. Uh, Green Lanterns. Just started picking these up because Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern Corps, got canceled, stupidly. So I was like, well, I'll get my fix on this, pick these guys up, learn about them. Haven't had a chance yet to catch up, and now these guys are getting canceled. <laughs> Stupid DC. Just like literally anything I like, cancel it. Um, oh man, let's talk about covers. I'm trying to get this glare out of here. Look, look at this awesome Tim Sale cover. Oh, I love it. It, it the, this is, the, the video's not doing that justice. And a uh, comic I'm excited about, <laughs> really, is uh, one of the lesser, it's probably the least, uh, what do I say, like the most bottom rung, this is like the D-list title here, compared to these other A-listers. Um, this is the one I'm really excited about. It's it's not such like amazing writing that's knocking my socks off, but it's very intriguing. Um, they're weaving something very different in the in the DC universe, and I really want to see where it goes. And I and I as I read it, I feel like my my imagination feels like there's so much potential in this book. Um, so. Steve Orlando's doing a very competent job writing it, and he's bringing me something that uh, I want to know more about, the, the mythos and, and, and who these characters are and what they're going to do. I'm, I'm hooked. So, yeah, even though it's not the best writing in the world, sometimes you don't need to be. You just need to be entertaining, and this is entertaining. Uh, Super Sons, or Adventures of Super... This is fake Super Sons. Um, I haven't read issue one yet. I'm so back logged on comics um i do love the original super sons and it's surprising that i haven't read these i think it's because i'm 
kind of been out of shape on this. Some people are real excited about Super Sons being back, but it's not back. And this is a 12 issue maxi series. And uh, from what I understand, this is flashback story. So it's not even like moving ahead. It doesn't really affect the continuity. It's just, this is, this is a pure appease the fans. Oh, fans are upset. Okay, throw them a bone. I don't want you to throw me a bone, DC. I want you to have a great comics. And this was one of you. This, arguably, the original, the other series was arguably the best thing you had going. And you canceled it so you could appease Bendis. So you could get Bendis. And it's biting you in the ass. And biting the fans in the ass. All right. Then, speaking of alternate comics, um, I am 100% standing by, standing with Pete. Supporting Alterna, I saw my the store only has one comic in stock from the Alterna line. And the problem with Alterna, it's not a problem, it's a problem with me with Alterna, is the stuff that they publish. Man, this, there you go. The stuff that they publish is not my bag. I am a superhero guy. I want mainstream Marvel style comics. I'm an old school Marvel fanboy. I am starting to appreciate DC and become a convert, enjoying it very much, the good stuff at least. But I want mainstream comic heroes, classic capes, tights, you know, save the day. I like alternate comics. I like indies. You know, one of the, my favorite indies I'm collecting now is Oblivion Song. I'm picking up the other title Skybound's doing that Die Die Die. Uh, I picked up Versus. Um, you know, I'm okay and I do like hard sci fi. I like sci fi stuff. But I like that as an alternate. I don't like that as my main course on comics. And I looked through Alterna a while back, you know, last year, I think, when I got into uh, Diversity in Comics, and he had picked up uh, like Scrimshaw or something, and he had some good things to say about it. You know, the buck 50, and I like the, the, that they're doing the cheap, and I like that they're doing the newsprint, and I, I like everything that they're doing, but when I look at their lineup, I'm like, these comics aren't for me. They're not what I want to read. And, you know, look, if you're paying a buck 50 for a comic, you aren't getting Sean Gordon Murphy, you know, you're not getting the top tier talent in the industry. And I don't say that as a slight. I know Peter Samedi knows that he doesn't have, this is not major league, this is the minor leagues in comics. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Sometimes stars start off in the minor leagues and you can find gems. And for a buck fifty, just like the In-N-Out Burger, it's not the best burger in the world, but it's for sure the best burger in the world under four bucks. You can have great comics. These could be the best comics in the world for buck fifty. Um, so I saw Wicked Righteous, I went to the website and looked at the lineup again to remind myself what they had out. And I saw this and I know it's not going to be like Super Sons at all. Um, but the idea of kids going through adversity reminded me a little bit of what I liked about Super Sons. So I said, you know what, I think I might be able to get into this. Um, and it just so happened the only thing that there was on the store shelf was this, issues 5 and 6, a uh, 6 issue limited series. So I was like, you know what, let me go to the back issue bin, see if they got, and sure enough, they had issues one, two, three, and four for, you know, slightly over cover price, two dollars for number one, buck seventy-five, you know, a quarter over cover price. So supporting my uh, supporting my local store and also picking up the new issues. And now I have all six. I very much hope these are enjoyable. I hear nothing but positive. I, I, I Even diversity in comics, the worst thing he had to say about Scrimshaw that was kind of average or whatever, but it sure didn't get ripped, you know? Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to checking some other stuff out. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support alternate comics. I'm going to do my damnedest to find at least one book if I can't find more. That is my cup of tea because I watched a three-hour video last night that Alterna did, that Peter hosted. And if you were at all curious about what's going on, um, I know three hours is a long commitment. Um, just, 
just watch part of it and stop when you want. This guy is the real deal. This is the guy we need in comics. This is the guy, you know, if there's like a modern day Stan Lee who is all heart on his sleeve and just wants people to love comics and loves his audience, this is the guy. Like, you need to, like, watching this video, you'll, you'll get to know this guy as a, as a person. And it, um, it'll break your heart what, what's happening to him. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward, like I said, to finding something I like. And I'm sure that there's uh, Worthy Comics. He's been doing business for a while. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks, uh, you guys, for watching. Put your comments below. Uh, I kept this at about 10 minutes. I hope it wasn't too long. And uh, see you again. Thanks a lot. Bye.